Hello everybody and welcome to another ball review here on the channel. This time for the Cactus Ball in the Cinco de Mayo bundle here in Gold Clash the game. Before we take a closer look, make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. For those of you that are looking to take the next climb in your game, you go to patreon.com slash golfclash. Tommy, you have the link in the description down below. And we have something for each and every one. Tour play, tournament play, you name it. Check it out and sign up today. Cactus ball, be careful not to pick, uh, prick yourself with a new cactus ball. Pack some power in your arsenal with its legendary power. Power 5, top spin boost 3, side spin 2, and wind resistance 3. And we're gonna take a close look at this ball. And this ball has the same stats as the season 50 ball for those pe uh, people that did uh, buy that one. Which, I mean, me, I personally did buy some there. And the reason I bought that is because I kind of felt like it's going to be a ball that with the top spin boost 3 together with the win 3 is going to be a valuable ball. But the overpower needle stability is worse than what would you have on the season 50 ball. Um, it also looks a little bit scary with those uh, things on the cactus. I mean, we're going to go into try uh, the try before you buy a thingy. Uh, and check the ball out in, in terms of how we center the ball, but it looks weird, in my opinion. But looking at it from a tournament perspective, 6 out of 10, there is definitely some value with a ball like this, and if you don't have any season 50 balls, I do recommend to get some, because, frankly, there has been many times where a top spin boost 3 has been far superior the top spin boost 2 balls that we have got plenty of. So even though it might be a weird size, even though the overpower needle is worse than the season 50, I would definitely try to get some if you don't have any, especially in master as a master division player. Tour play, 3 out of 10. I don't really see where we would be getting some value from this one. Sure, the win 3 is helpful, but the side spin 2, I mean, we would love side spin 3, but we can handle the side spin 2. The power 5, though, is the problem, because that's going to put us in many awkward situations, and um, like with min and max clubs and stuff like that, that it's just going to be messy, and it's just going to be bad. The top spin boost, 3, I mean, back spin boost, <coughs> I can see being some value with, as with lower level clubs and stuff like that, but the top spin boost in tour play, <coughs> no, I don't really see that as anything out of value. So 3 out of 10. When it comes to the cactus ball here in tour play, obviously the overpower needle is not helpful as well when it comes to tour play. Let's take uh, go into practice mode then and uh, check out the ball because I'm very curious to see how it is when it comes to the ball centering because I I've, I've had a feeling that the game makers has learned that people will buy a ball to a less extent if it is a bad size or it's uh, yeah bad size or shape and um it's uh, even though it's fun and might some people would buy it anyway but i'm thinking about um especially people that are considering their tournaments to be important in terms of the ball centering then then this that is an important thing so we're going to go into practice and check it out and uh, before we do that make sure to sign up on patreon we do have package, uh, packages for the Eastern Odyssey tournament. We also have the um, package for the current going Wells Fargo Championship and tour play guides and stuff like that. We have something for each and every one. So make sure to sign up and check it out yourself. Link is in the description down below. All right. This one is going to be interesting in the tournament. The Kohong Resorts hole number six is featured as hole number three. Headwind on this one, especially from 30. It's gonna be absolutely worthless to play. I'm I'm not looking forward to that at all. I would say because in a headwind here, I do see this as not as an eagle and only play, but very close towards that. So we're gonna take obviously our turn after the opponent, and we're gonna check out the new cactus ball. Our opponent pings it into the rough and sand, or maybe sand. We'll see. Rough bunker. All right. Now let's take a look at the cactus ball and see what uh, we can do with that one. All right. We're going to here. Free trial. It says free try. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> I mean, uh, not as bad as I thought, maybe, but uh, you know, this is not what we want. We don't want that things 
falling out from the ball and you can just picture yourself having this ball in a scenario where it maybe not be as it is on T. It could be turned to the other direction or something like that. The needle plus one, not really super. So I would say, I mean, I'm a bit disappointed uh, about the, the shape of this ball. I think it's just so uh, extremely unnecessary in my opinion. So there we do have the cactus ball. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. You may not care about shapes and sizes and stuff like that like I do. Let me know about that and your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you the best of luck in your Golf Clash game.